Welcome to the Linescale 3 basic functions and menu demo. In this demo, I will not cover the Linescale 3 onboard logging function and any of these icons which are related to logging. For detailed information about the logging function, please check out my previous video. The Linescale 3 can operate in four different scan speeds. 40 Hertz, 640 Hertz, 1280 Hertz, and 10 Hertz. The Line Scale 3 has two operation modes, Absolute and Relative. In Absolute mode, it will show you the maximum and minimum load values of this current measurement cycle. Long pressing the Mode button will switch to Relative mode which is indicated right here by a change from ABS to REL. Relative mode shows the load relative to the user-defined zero point. Currently, there is no user-defined zero point. That's why it's shown here as 0.00. .00. So let's just set a new zero point to better demonstrate this, I have to release some tension first. So let's just assume you want to have a 2.5 kN of standing tension as your zero reference point. So in relative mode, you simply press your zero button to set the current tension to zero. Now this is the relative zero point, you will always see the absolute load and the point at which zero was pressed at the bottom left of your screen. Zero was pressed at 2.55 kN. We increase the load and you will see the display increase relative to the pressed zero point. But most important, you will always see where zero was pressed. To get a reference where we're at, uh, let's zoom out and check the calibrated scale. We're at a true load of 593 kN, which is referenced here at the ABS value. ABS will always show you the real true load of the line scale 3. Zero will show you the point at which absolute load zero was pressed. If we decrease the load below the zero value, the line scale will show a negative value. The current true load is uh, 1.29 kilonewtons, which is a uh, reference right here. And the zero was pressed at 2.5 kilonewton, therefore we have a negative value of 1.22 kilonewton. So if we switch back to absolute mode now, pressing mode button for two seconds. We can again see the ABS icon for the absolute mode. And the LS3 display correlates with the tensile machine again. Peak mode. To have the line scale 3 lock at the highest load level registered, you long press the peak button and we'll see the peak mode indicator. The current real load is always displayed here. The highest load since key pressed will be freezed here. Example, we increase to 3 kN and we drop back to 1.2. The current value is shown here and the peak value is shown right here. Let's disable peak mode by long pressing the peak button. Short pressing this button will toggle between the three supported units, kilonewton, kilogram force, and pounds force. The line scale will also convert all the secondary displayed units, like the maximum and minimum values or the trigger start and stop values for the log uh, to this selected unit. 
Now before we get to the menu functions, I'd like to mention the line scales onboard temperature sensor, which will give you a temperature reading of the inside of the line scale device. Now this is the line scale 3 battery saving mode. The display is blanked except for intermittent time displays. Unlike backlit LCD displays as this one, OLED displays draw power for every displayed pixel. So in order to preserve battery life, we simply blank the display after a user set amount of time. Pressing any button will wake up the line scale 3. Of course, logging and Bluetooth activity will stay active in energy save mode. Now for the line scale 3 menu stuff. Um, first of all, when you turn on the line scale, it will show you date and time. You should always double check with this uh, to ensure your log files are date stamped correctly. Okay now, long press the menu button. You will have the current date, the firmware version and uh, the current time at the top of the main menu. The log menu settings are quite extensive, so I will not specifically explain each menu item here. Uh, you can check these uh, at my previous video um, if you're into logging. Then we have the uh, date and time menu. We have two different date formats, uh, the European and the US version, which you can select uh, to your personal preference. You can always see the way the date is displayed right here in the menu after you select the format. Of course you can also set the date and time in this menu. The time format is always preset at 24 hour format. This is uh, to avoid any inconsistencies in the onboard logs which are time stamped. So that's it with date and time. Let's get on with uh, user settings. Auto power off is a function which will power off the line scale 3 after a specific amount of time, uh, after the last button has been pressed or after uh, the last load change has been registered. Display power off is uh, simply to preserve battery power by displaying less pixels as explained before. Auto zero tracking is, um, well, let's say, a kind of a geek function that I will explain in detail in one of the geek videos soon to come. Same with a uh, UART baud rate, um, total geek mode. Okay, service menu, not password protected, but still only for professionals. Well, um, if you mess up here, your line scale is not gonna function the way it should anymore. So, um, just a quick skim through. 
any details geek videos so that's it let's go back now to finish off this video just a very brief introduction to the lightscale app the bluetooth icon uh, lights up inverted uh, right after starting the app which means these units have been paired already and you can define a specific uh, logging protocol on your app uh, independent of the line scale 3 settings you can connect multiple line scale 3 and line scale 2 models uh, which are identified via their unique MAC address which you can see here is uh, identical to the one printed on the line scale you click connect and you're online now let's just set an alarm for this one um, let's say at 3 kilonewton and uh, see what happens in the app activated go the threshold bar has uh, changed to the three kilonewton I entered and you can see it will sound the alarm as soon as the threshold has been reached the alarm function is a background process so you can even turn off your phone and put it in your pocket you will receive alarms whenever the load exceeds your set threshold so that's it for today enjoy the summer stay well and stay safe